Real Life Examples of MCAT Concepts, Part 2. So a few nights ago, I was cooking some pasta, and as I salted my water, I was reminded of my man, Francois-Marie Raoult, and his law that helps explain boiling point elevation. To demonstrate this concept, I attempted to raise the boiling point of some water from its normal 100 degree Celsius boiling point to 102 degrees Celsius. Just a small little change, but let's see how it worked out. Here are my calculations. Make note of this first equation. You'll need it for your MCAT. The change in temperature in degrees Kelvin, which is the same as change in degrees Celsius, is equal to what's called the Van't Hoff factor times the molal boiling point elevation constant Kb times the molality of the solution. Here, I knew I wanted the boiling point to increase by 2 degrees, and I know that the Van't Hoff factor of NaCl is 2. The Van't Hoff factor explains how many ions are created once a compound dissolves in solution. I googled the Kb of water and came up with 0.512 degrees Celsius per molal. Then I solved for molality and found that I needed a 2 molal solution to increase my boiling point by 2 degrees. Note that molality, which is moles per kilogram of solvent, was used here instead of molarity. Then I weighed out 58 grams or 1 mole of my salt. This is pink Himalayan sea salt, which is 98% NaCl plus some trace amounts of some other minerals that give it that pink color. For the purposes of this experiment, I figured 98% purity was fine. I used a half liter of water, which weighs 0.5 kilograms, and one mole of salt to create my two molal solution. I poured my salt into water and cranked up the heat. Once the solution had reached this vigorous boil, I took the temperature and sure enough, 102 degrees Celsius, two degrees higher than the boiling point of pure water. And that, my friends, is a real life example of Raoult's law and boiling point elevation. Like and follow for more MCAT concepts in real life.